Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another Season 10 Educational Gameplay Guide, guys. Today we're going to be covering Lee Sing in the Jungle, one of the most popular genres out there at the moment due to Lee Sing actually being insanely strong throughout the early game. And please, I would love, I would truly love if you could actually help me out. Okay, we're not getting any help from the top lane, that's not a good start. Anyways, as for the runes, like the best runes for Lee Sin at the moment, uh, we were running uh, Conqueror with Domination in the secondary. And also for like the build, I'll leave out the full runes as well as the full build and everything. I'll leave it out in the description, guys. So definitely make sure to check that out. And with that being said, let's go for Lee Sin. So what I usually do when playing Lee Sin, I always start off my W because it's the most sustained throughout level 1 and it helps like a lot, barely losing any health. So I'm starting off like red buff most likely. And then I always uh, go down to like the wolves, take in the wolves. And then after taking the wolves, I quickly rotate to like blue buff and take in this camp here as well. And then I usually, I try to like contest like the, like the river camp for the vision, XP and gold. Pretty important, like that really matters, you have to compete for it. Especially like in the level 3, since it gets so much. So right here we're going to be taking the blue buff. There we go. Like of course it does kind of depend on like what kind of champion you're up against. In this game in specific we're currently up against the Hecarim, which is not really that big of a deal. Like we can fight um, Hecarim pretty easily in the early game. So we want to be taking that chance. I'm using my last potion here. Okay, he's messed my here. There we go. Nice. So, obviously the camp is not up yet, but what I usually like to do quite a lot is actually walking around the river to see if we can do like a potential gank. Uh, right here, Ida is actually pretty low, so I'll just make sure to be standing around here just to make sure that she doesn't actually die to Hecarim. Okay, nice. Now we can compete with this one. As soon as Hecarim comes around, we will just fall in that guy immediately because Lee Sin actually beats Hecarim pretty hard early game. Very nice. So you want to be ganking around lanes that are actually winning very, very hard. And for instance, right now, um, they, they are currently pretty low. Like they, they accidentally died. They actually... Uh, which is not very good, but we can actually take some free kills right here, so let's see. I'm just gonna all in the support first. Okay. I'll just back off here. So my bot lane is currently having a really, really rough time, as you guys can tell. And uh, obviously the best thing we can do right here with currently my bot lane doing that insanely bad. Um, we want to focus on other lanes. We don't want to focus around bot lane too much because Kukma doesn't really have any type of um, ability that can like... Uh, work well for ganks. Lulu also doesn't engage very well. Like she doesn't really have any kind of hook or whatever like that you could use. So we want to be playing around like mid and top lane who basically have like the um, gank pressure. Kill pressure basically. So first of all we're going to start off with doing like a small rotation. Taking the, the camp right here. Just be very quick. Just smiting it out. There we go. We want to do like a quick rotation taking like the golem as well as the raids so it can stay ahead of Hecarim. And then we want to be looking out for like top and mid ganks. Especially like getting the, um, the camp in river is the most important thing right now. So we're going to be taking this one as well. Very good. And now we can see if we can like gank top or mid. Like, both lanes currently seem not that great to gank right now, but I am going to go and check anyways to see if we can do something. Because even if we meet Hecarim, right, even if we happen to meet him, um, we can still 1v1 him pretty easily since we have like two long swords at the moment. He's currently not showing up here. He actually took that camp already. Okay, that's pretty good to know. 
both lanes are currently not gankable and the camp will be spawning very very soon i'll just quickly rotate to the wolves and then come back to this camp here later on hecarim is currently bot lane that's pretty good what he's doing like actually playing around the lanes that are already like winning pretty hard i will only be taking the wolves and then i'm gonna rush to the bottom river uh, immediately just to take the vision there There we go. I got my smite ready for this camp here right now. So let's quickly go over there. Hecarim's currently here too. So it's going to be kind of difficult. I'm going to ask my mid laner if this guy could come over here too. Let's see. Very good. We got this camp. We stole it from Hecarim. Like that's step number one. This is going to make Hecarim like fall behind a little bit already. Uh, big chances are... That Hecarim could be coming over here, so let's quickly go over. We currently have like mid lane with us too, so we can definitely make like a play happen here. One is enough. <laughs> okay, we didn't really get anything, fortunately. But that's still fine because now. We can rotate into the jungle, or actually, we could even force the dragon right here, right now, and force it immediately to take like uh, get like the extra defense and everything. By the time Hecarim gets here, we should already have taken it. This is very, very good right now. So we may not have any kills right now, but we've already been stealing like a jungle king. Okay. Yeah, we got him. Back to this guy. Nice. So we got a kill and we're getting the dragon right here. Those are two big things. Nice. So we've stolen the camp, which is huge. That gives us more XP, more gold, more everything, more vision overall. We can also give this to mid lane if he wants to, but if he doesn't come, it's fine too. Also, this camp right here is spawning very soon, and we have to get ready to take that one. So, we're just going to go back real quick. We want to make sure that we get this camp here. It's very, very, very important right now to get that camp. There we go. And, yes, nice. We can actually sell this one already. And we're actually pretty close. Like, it's, that's only, like, 20. I'll just be going over this one and this one. There we go. So now, we know that Hecarim is currently bot lane. We need to get that camp over here. We need to get it because it gives vision. Once again, it gives like a lot of things. It's very important to get that thing. So we will only rotate to the red buff. And then we will rush that thing immediately and fight Hecarim whenever he shows up. There we go. There's a big chance that Hecarim is now coming topside to, to um, secure the camp there. Okay, here we go. I've got my smite ready, so in case he's going to show up, we should be able to fight him pretty easily. Nice. If he shows up, I'll smite. If he doesn't, I won't. Great. So now I want to be playing around top and mid. Oh, that's very good. Got him as well. Nice. So once again, we stole the blue buff from Hecarim and we also got the kill on Hecarim right now. So that's gonna... Now we're actually like one level ahead of Hecarim at the moment, which is very, very, very huge. And the enemy team is now also very afraid that I might gank their lanes. So those are really big things. We could go topside right now and gank... Um Gank that guy on our tower with our ultimate, but just to be on the safe side, I'll just be taking this one here. Very good. Nice. I uh, I mean, uh, Azir's currently top side. He just got wrecked like 1v2. But we could take that kill right there, let's see. 
Oh, yeah, he was a little bit faster than I thought. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to let that go. I could dive him. Ah! That was just like one second too late, I guess. But we could take one plating. Okay, unfortunately we're not getting anything here. We're gonna have to go back now. We're like two levels beyond that guy, so we can't 1v1 him yet. Very nice. So we have the first item. We also want to get boots right now. Pretty good. So the next item after this, like once again, guys, so you can find the four wounds for build everything in the description. But um, now the next item we want to get is going to be the black cleaver, which is going to help us get like extra CDR, extra stats in general, like all in potential also. And we also want to get ninja tabis or mercs. In this game in specific, we want to get ninja tabis. Let's go. I'm just spanging ping like a thousand times. Oh, I've accidentally missed. Well, I never miss my kill when I ult people. I've accidentally missed. I think because of the bush, like, I miscalculated where I put my uh, Q. Because usually I take a look at where the champion is going to go and I offer, like, the my mouse. Um, I offer it over the champ. But this time, like, the bush was standing in the way. So I guess that's why. But no problem. I can just rotate again, like, 70 seconds. Uh, before going there, though... I want to play around um, the enemy jungle right now because we're actually having a lead on Hecarim. I don't think we can do much here because um, the other guy is also here. Okay, let's go back bot lane again. I'm actually very strong right now, so even if my teammates are having a bad time... Oh, he took the hero. Okay. Even if my teammates on bot lane are having a hard time, we can still 1v1 them. Nice. Now we can force the platings too. The dragon is also being spawned right now, so we can take that as well. I want to. G you want to get the Inverno dragon. This dragon is the most important dragon of whole league at the moment. Like this, it gives damage, and damage is like the number one thing you need to carry games. Nice. So we're basically. Um, we're basically trading. We can actually fight these guys again. Ah! I wanted to get, like, I wanted to get the last auto off and then proc my triumph so I can get the heal back and then run off, but... I want, like, the first thing I tried when jumping on this guy, I wanted to walk right behind him so I could pop my ultimate and then back off. But that didn't work, so I wanted to do, like, the next all-in, but that didn't work either because I was basically being blocked off by the creeps. That was a, that was a big mess right there. That, that was, that was a, like, a really big mess right there, but it's fine. It's okay. So now in this game, like, top lane lost the tower, but... It, Good thing for us, though, we did get, like, the first dragon and the second dragon now. And um, now it's just a matter of getting the red buff and the blue buff. And then forcing objectives together with bot lane. Because now Ma and Lulu are actually pr getting pretty strong right now. Like, the ultimate actually works on Lulu and everything. Gangplank needs a lot of time to scale. Also, he lost the tower, so it's pretty worthless to gank his lane at the moment. I'll just quickly smite it. Just be a little faster. Very nice. I'm doing like an entire full clear and then rotating to bot lane so we can force that thing right there. Very nice. So we got that too. We can take the blue buff here too. Like actually, I'm, I think I'm going to take it for myself. Not going to give it to my mid laner unless he comes in. Okay, here we go. Already doing the thing right there. And now we're rotating bot lane. Let's go. 
Like, as for the skill order, you want to be maxing Q, then W, then E. Pretty standard. Uh, let's go, actually. Here we go. He's somewhere around here. Yeah, there's no way he's going to escape. Blind Q right there, actually. Now we can force a bot lane tower. Hecarim is coming bot lane right now, as shown on the map. Okay. I got a control ward so I can place it down here. Oh wow. She actually does a lot of damage. Surprisingly, she actually does so much damage. She's actually killing me with a single combo there. When I'm nearly full health. Hey, that's actually surprising. Like, a support like Zyra can literally kill me with a single combo. Even when I'm, like, one level ahead of her. And when I'm actually more fed than her. Hmm. Huh. That's actually very, very surprising. Hmm. No problem. That's really surprising. The fact that she can 1v1 me from that. I even popped my smite on the support. And it didn't even work. Like, normally you can 1v1 these things, but... Okay. I'm gonna have to accept that. Oh, wow. He's teleporting for this. I'm not even going for the farm. Alright. So now, we're going to do like a full rotation again. This time, the dragon will spawn in about 1 minute and 14 seconds. So... Oh, wow. So, we're just gonna be doing like a full rotation again. One more this time. And then we will get ourselves ready for the next upcoming dragon. So currently we have two dragons. And the third one, if we get that, it's going to be very, very good. Nice. I'm going to rotate slowly to the dragon right now. Hecarim is also there. So we're going to be a little... We have to be a little careful here. 35 seconds. We can take one more camp here. We do have to get ready for this, though. Okay, they're fighting. We have to We have to up them out. If they accidentally make a mistake, right now we're going to be losing the dragon here. We want to get it, so... Good. This camp is now being spawned, and we need to get that camp. Because it gives movement speed, and it gives vision. My mid lane actually accidentally died right now. But we did get the camp here, so... This is going to be difficult. My mid laner accidentally uh, died. My bot lane is not coming over. Uh, I'm losing the dragon. I couldn't get any help from my bot lane. My mid laner also died, so... Huh, so many unfortunate things happening so far this game, actually. Okay, no problem. Okay, so with the dragon currently being gone, we can now make place around the map. I'll quickly get this farm here. And then we will be going topside. Nice. We have a pretty big lead over Hecarim, to be honest. Or like a really big lead. Let's see if he shows up. I can 1v1 uh, top lane pretty easily right now. I'm just constantly farming up whenever nothing's happening around the map. So I'm keeping like a big lead over Hecarim throughout the game. Like honestly in a time like this, there's nothing really happening on the map. We don't really have we don't really have a team comp that has any type of engage at all. Like it all comes down to us making the final engage. And that makes the skin like uh, pretty annoying to deal with. Nice. Just gonna do like quick rotation again, like a full clear. Like nothing's happening on the map right now, so I just need to do like a full clear. Here we go. The timing on my Q though. Take out my ultimate. Nice. 
Very good. I had to play around my cooldowns just a little bit. Nice. Like, throughout the entire team fight, we've been, we've been positioning ourselves, like, kind of around my teammates. Like, whenever my teammates were about to get destroyed by the opponents, uh, I've always tried to stay around my teammates just to help them out, give them the shield whenever they need it, like, trying to kick them away whenever they need it. Unfortunately, though, I couldn't really use my kick to save my teammates there. Uh, but it's still, it's still okay, so... There's no red buff there, unfortunately. But instead of just going back to base right now and reset and get all my items and everything, um, we might as well just stay here. Take as much farm as we can. Force, like, the tower. Then rotate to my own jungle, take everything there, and then, like, go back after that. There are people coming here right now. We shouldn't really be fighting them. We should be going back here. We should not be fighting them right here, because they're actually coming here, over here right now. We currently we can now get the black lever and come back like insanely strong. We currently have the highest level of the game, so we can now actually fight whoever we want right now, which is very important. That's what we want. So after the black lever, your next item is going to be the Sterx Gauge, and this item allows for. Um, the Sterx Gauge together with Black Lever and this item, it allows for very aggressive 1v1 playstyle where you like catch out people. You're like kind of like an off tank, you do have like a lot of damage, but you're also like kind of tanky, which makes this build like perfect for this. So now in the mid game, the way how you want to play kind of depends on the picks made by the opponents, but also like what's happening around the map. Currently, they have like a Zyra Twitch and everything. Um, so, what we can actually do here, we can try to have like this very aggressive catch, uh, catch and play style, basically, uh, where we try to catch like our opponents over and over and snowball that way. We can catch like Twitch very easily because we can just jump on him over and over, right? Um, they have to be really careful though, because I'm currently bot lane right here. But yeah, in games like this one, where currently nothing is happening around the map again, what I like to do as Lee Sin, as like a jungler myself, uh, I like to split push quite a lot and apply pressure throughout the map. Especially in times like when the dragon is spawning, like right now, uh, within 20 seconds, there will be like a new dragon. We can place that right here. In moments like this one, where the dragon is about to spawn, we want to push the, down the lanes a little bit. Okay. We need the team to be here right now. That's like the kind of play you want to make when you have like people going as far as this. Okay. We have to drag out like the dragon just a little bit. My smite 760. Nice. So we want to make we want to keep on making picks like this one. Uh, we could still take that guy. Very good. Nice. So now we managed to get like a kill on the support. We were able to force the dragon because of that, and we also got like more kills of that. So now we have like a massive lead over about anyone this game right now which is huge uh, the red buff is actually spawning within five seconds I want to take the red buff for my own and not to my AD carry because I want to use the red buff to like get picks if I get the red buff 1v1 is going to be even easier than ever that's why before just grouping up with my team right now uh, I do just want to like push down the lanes here and there and split push the top lane as well, just so I can make my lead even bigger than ever. Now they do actually fight here right now, so let's see if I can actually group up there with them. They're overextending a little bit too much. But I can fix a lot here. 
Uh, come to me. I still got my smite that I can use. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I accidentally missed it. Okay, let's go back here. Mm, we can just walk back around here. Cannot get them, unfortunately, because Azir actually changed. Uh, he actually went back. I could have actually had that kill right there if Azir didn't go for that. Nice. So after the Sterex Gage, your next item is going to be the Guardian's Angel. And the Guardian's Angel is basically going to allow you to have a much stronger team fighting in general. Like, Guardian's Angel allows for engaging, it gives you damage, it gives you stats. And it also applies, like, uh, the, the effect to, to be able to survive in the team fights. So you can engage, you can stay alive even if they all catch you or kill you. Okay, here we go. We just want to be forcing objectives right right now. That's the most important thing. Like even the Baron right now, for example, like they currently have three people that are dead right now. So now is actually the best moment to be doing the Baron, especially if we have like a Kukma on the on the team. My smite's 800, so hopefully I don't miss my smite. I currently have like a lead over uh, Akron right now, so it should be fine. People coming over. We can just force it. Yeah, there we go. So now we got the Baron buff, and now it pretty much comes down to the perfect macro play with uh, the Baron buff, and we should be able to win. Okay, these guys will be pushing. That's pretty good. Uh, let's actually see if we can force something here. I'm not gonna fight that guy. Oh, I, I prefer waiting like 50 seconds to get my ult back. Let's go. Oh! Still got my smite. Actually, that was perfect. Uh, yeah, we lost the Baron buff, and they actually managed to kill all of us. Like, that was actually such a good Azir play. Uh, I think Twitch might be here, that's why she's going, like, in there. Okay, blue buff's mine, I'll just take it. I hope, I don't want to give the blue buff to the enemy team, so... I'll be farming while, uh, actually... Oh. oh. He's definitely not the only one here. Okay, let's make our way back. I kind of hoped that I could get, like, the camp there so I could eventually buy the BF, but... That's fine. Like, when playing Lee Sin, you always want to buy a control ward, both because you can place it down, uh, get the wards down, but also, like, um... You know, you can jump on wards with Trinket, but if the Trinket is down, you still have your Crunch Reward. It's always pretty useful to have, seriously. So now it's just a matter of going mid lane once again, but this time not gonna make any mistakes to like get ulted by like a Seer. <laughs> Let's go. We only need to make a single play with, with like uh, ult, Q ult flash, or like ward. Nice. Oh, nobody is there to catch the, the, the Twitch. Okay, got him at least. Nobody was there to catch the Twitch, unfortunately, but it's fine. Oh, I missed my Q! I keep missing my Q. What? Like, in moments like this one... <laughs> We should be happy that we have a control ward. Nice, now we can force this thing here. 
We could even keep on pushing, actually. Uh, Alright. So, we are not able to continue pushing. Like, it doesn't look very good. We just have to back off right now. Real quick. Reset and go. Ball. Okay, so now, it ultimately, it all comes down to grouping bot lane right now like that's all ultimately that's the only thing that we have to do right now if one person goes top side for instance gangplank goes top side and four people go bot lane and gangplank like pushes it out all the way we should be able to win this game pretty easily let's see maybe we can catch the azir Wow, I missed it. No, I, I used my flash and Hecarim was here? Wait, really? That comes like a surprise because they're actually pushing bot lane. I, I so expected Hecarim to be going back to base and like defending the tower, but apparently Hecarim was just there. Okay. Huh. I, expe I expected Hecarim to be here. Hmm, my mistake there. I have to agree, that was my mistake. I, I, I fought the Azir. I missed my Q. And then I flashed away when I was like nearly dead. So I think even if I flashed, I could have tried to do escape, but the chance were very unlikely. I might as well have just have kept the flash, but whatever. So now we almost have the Guardian's Angel and as soon as we get that Guardian's Angel the game is going to be very easy for us because then we can just like engage in with Q we can like ult uh, we can like W ult and like kick the Twitch towards my teammates basically I'm also be reaching my level 6 here right now so let me just get that real quick nice Now, it is only a matter of grouping mid lane once again, pushing it out all the way, and then like forcing bot lane, I guess. We have to force bot lane right now. Force bot lane. So, so if you force bot lane right now, and then we rotate to the dragon, we will have the last dragon, which will uh, allow us to be even stronger than ever. There we go, pushing down this lane as well. Very nice. Dragon will spawn in 30, which will allow us, once again, to be insanely strong. We could actually catch this guy on the way. I'm, I just want to keep on pushing the lane until the dragon spawns. Hecarim is currently not here. Has he just shown up? Okay, here we go. Dragon is ours. Push mid. Fo force like a 5. Force like Baron. So now it's only a matter of pushing mid and then forcing Baron. That's all. I missed my Q? Oh, I missed my Q. Nice. Now we can force the Baron or we can try to do like an ending. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, too bad. I should thought my ward was up there. Gotta admit. But I used my ward on the, uh, the other guy before, so... Oh, that Azir ultimate was on point. Nice. Yep, we could end it right here. Nice.
Anyways, guys. Hey. Wait, what? Wait, what? It just spawned? Wait. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what? I can't believe it. Okay, now we are named. Anyways, guys, this is pretty much how you play Lee Sin in the jungle. Like, in the early game, we didn't really snowball insanely hard, but we did out macro the Hecarim quite a lot, and we did, like, uh, we did make Hecarim fall behind insanely hard in the early game. So despite bot lane having, like, a really hard time and not being able to help them out as much because they were, like, being destroyed, despite that happening, we've, we've been able to create, like, a massive lead over Hecarim, eventually translate that over to getting every single dragon, and eventually, um, being so strong, getting, like, a triple kill on everything, we were so strong we could fight anyone, basically. But, um... We completely outrotated the Hecarim everywhere in the game. So not necessarily like snowballing, like fi like 50 kills. But instead of that, we just got like, we out macro insanely hard. And we won the game based on that. This is pretty much how you play Lee Sin in the jungle, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to uh, check out the description if you want to see like the four ruins for build. Also, don't forget to follow my stream if you want to have Challenger ELO games. Like if you want to see Challenger ELO gameplay. And don't forget to follow my Instagram if you've got any type of questions. So yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys up next time. Peace.